Hi, I'm Sean Carruthers, and welcome to How Do I on Butterscotch.com. In this series, we're taking a look at the new MacBook Air. This episode specifically, we're going to show you how to use the keyboard, mouse, and a look at the sleep functionality on the MacBook Air. Now, using the keyboard on the MacBook Air is pretty much what you'd expect of a notebook. Unlike a netbook, this actually has full-size keys with proper spacing in between them, and it has most of the keys you'll find on a typical notebook, whether that's a MacBook or a regular PC notebook. So if you want to type, it's actually pretty pretty straightforward. So we have Word up here, and you'll just get the keyboard out and start typing. So pretty much what you'd expect of a keyboard on a notebook computer. Very easy to use, very natural positioning of your hands when you're putting it on there. You don't have to actually scrunch them up like you would with a netbook. Underneath the keyboard, you'll see the trackpad here. All of this surface right here is used for moving around on the screen and it is all clickable. So no matter where you are in here, you can click down and it'll select something on the screen. So what that means for usability is you put your finger down where you want to go, move the cursor around the screen. When you want to click, just push down where you are and you can pull the whole thing around like so. If you want to use, say, a browser like this that has a longer screen, you can actually use two fingers now, so two fingers down, and you can scroll just by pushing two fingers down on the screen. As with the MacBook and the MacBook Pro, you can also use three fingers right here for navigation, so you can go back like so, or if you want to go forward, you can swipe in the other direction, it'll take you forward. You can also use four fingers if you want. Four fingers up will give you a view of your desktop, expose. Four fingers down will give you an overview of everything that you have running at the moment. Again, the touchpad on the MacBook Air supports other multi-touch features. So if you're in an application that supports them, you can also use it to pinch and zoom. So you can zoom in like that. You can do that on a web browser as well, like so, if you want to increase the size of it very quickly. Again, you can also use it in applications that support it for rotation. So you can spin it around like so, just by using your fingers to turn in place. As with the other Mac notebooks, there's only one obvious click. Despite the fact that it's integrated into the trackpad itself now, as opposed to having a separate one button press underneath this, we can actually still use right click here. And in this case, we go to an item that we want to right click on. And instead of just clicking down like we would normally, we'll hit two fingers down instead and down. And you'll notice that the context menu comes up here with all the right click options. So now we can just go down and select the one that we want. So we want to open that in a new window like so, and that'll download it for us. The other thing we should show off here is the sleep functionality of the MacBook Air because this has been updated substantially because of the flash memory on board here. So there's two ways you can do it. You can actually just close the lid here and you can open it up again by grabbing the little lip here and opening it up and you notice that it f fires up again really, really quickly and it is actually usable as opposed to being hung like uh, older Macs used to be. You can also just go up to the Apple here and choose sleep, and it'll send your Mac to sleep like so. And to get it back up and running again, you can just hit one of the keys, and it'll fire up again. And again, it's usable. So this is when it's in sleep mode, it is instant on again, unlike previous generations, which would have to fire up the drive again and actually get everything ready to go, which could take a few seconds. So this is very much instant. Well, that's it for this part. Don't forget to check out the other parts in the series where we show you how to use the MacBook Air. And don't forget to check out the show notes for this part and all the other parts of the series at butterscotch.com. Thank you.